Thank you for joining us for another Beaufort County Report. My name is Hannah Nichols, Public Information Officer with Beaufort County, and joining me today is Destiny Rains. She is our Passive Parks Naturalist here at Beaufort County, and we are launching an entirely new series of programming, events. It's a very time, very exciting time for um, our parks here. Destiny, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the Passive Parks Department is a brand new department, um, just started in July of 2020. 2023. Um, we're very small but very mighty. Um, it's the pa Passive Parks Director, the Passive Parks Ranger, and then myself, the Naturalist. Um, I was brought on to create a brand new environmental education program for Beaufort County. So we'll be utilizing the Passive Parks um, to bring folks out and educate them a little bit more about our environment. That sounds so exciting. Yeah. Um, and can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what inspired you to be a naturalist? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm originally from northeastern Indiana. Um, I grew up in and out of state parks, uh, camping with my family. Um, spent a lot of a lot of time in uh, nature centers, picking up things like snakes and turtles and frogs and everything that I probably shouldn't have been grabbing. Um, but I loved it. Um, I grew up with a very um, nature-loving family, so it's kind of always been ingrained in me, and I kind of always knew that I was going to be a naturalist. Um, so when I decided to go to college, I came down here, went to the University of South Carolina, Beaufort, um, got my degree in interdisciplinary studies, which allowed me to study both English and biology. Um, and then I interned at the Coastal Discovery Museum as an environmental educator and then worked out on Kiowa Island as a naturalist and their nature program manager. Wow, so you've really just been chasing that yeah, passion absolutely. your whole life. Mm -hmm. What is it about Beaufort County's area and natural landscape that really attracted you? Well, this area is extremely unique um, in terms of diversity. Um, so from beaches to dunes to maritime forests, I mean, we really have it all here. Um, and it's such a fragile environment, um, you know, anything from storms to high tides to pollutants, you know, it's really important that we're mindful of everyday decisions. And that's kind of part of my job is to get people out here in the parks, see what beautiful things we have to offer and, and get them to just be a little bit more mindful day to day. What do you envision kind of bringing to the Passive Parks to help um, help enhance our visitor experience here? Yeah, so we talked a little bit about an environmental education program. So we'll be offering um, public programming that will be scheduled monthly. Um, you can find all of that on our Passive Parks website. Um, so folks can come out and join me for nature walks, bird tours, fish clinics, um, pollinator talks, reptiles and amphibians, you name it. Um, I am open to, to talking about it all. Wow. Um, and then we also will be doing institu institutional um, or private organization uh, programs as well. Um, so if you have a private group or organization that want to come out and do a private walk with me, that's something we can also set up. It sounds like your schedule is already getting pretty full. Yes, yes. Is there any project in particular you're most excited to talk about or any program that most excites you? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, I'm a big, I just love nature walks in general. I like to be able to go out and just ramble. And if there's a bird that catches my eye or a really cool plant, or maybe I see, you know, a mammal running across the path, anything like that, that's, that's what is really exciting for me. Now, you've already talked about how unique our area is in regard to its terrain, but can you give us a little insight about the different wildlife species we have here? Yeah, absolutely. So depending on the season, you can see a multitude of different kinds of species. Um, so whether it be the roseate spoonbills, white pelicans, painted buntings, uh, the loggerhead sea turtles, our bottlenose dolphins, uh, manatees, I mean, we've, ha we've got everything. Now, this might be a little bit of a controversial question, but I have to know, do you have a favorite park in Beaufort County? Oh, that is very controversial. Um, you know, I, I honestly have to say I do adore Crystal Lake Park. Um, it doesn't help that my office is here, but uh, <laughs> I do take many walks out here. It's got such a different, unique environment, all in 25 acres. You know, you've got salt marsh, you've got lower wetlands, you've got upper wetlands, you've got a little bit of that maritime forest in there. Um, of course, the pond and all of the different species that brings with it as well. So this is a, this is a nice, happy little park. It's definitely a beautiful area, mm -hmm. and we can see many families out here enjoying it today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you for taking some time to tell us about yeah. these awesome initiatives and programs. Um, if anyone is looking to take advantage of these nature walks, where can they go for more information? So information will be posted on the Passive Parks website. Um, I'll also be sending things over to the Beaver County Facebook page. Um, and then I 
you can always contact me. Again, my information is uh, on the Passive Parks website as well. Fabulous. And just for uh, our viewers at home, the website is BufordCountySC.gov. You can go there at any time, day or night, get all of the information, news releases, and even get news on local programming.